The Himalayas are among the most diverse ecological zones of the world. Nestled in the western part of this mountain range is Himachal Pradesh. Snow-fed rivers, the Chenab and the Satluj, are its lifeline. These rivers also support millions of people in the plains downstream. Himachal is well known for its arts, culture and its apples. But for us, apples hold the key. For they may help us understand the complex and invisible concept of climate change and how humans are adapting to it. Kurla is a small village located at the height of 1,100 meters in Kullu district of Himachal Pradesh. Krishna Mahant, an apple farmer, narrates his experience. I remember this whole thing. I was 10 years old. I was born in 1960. There were a lot of coffee in the village. हमारे गांव में लगभग चार पांच ट्रक जो है वो सेब के निकलते थे। हमारे गांव से तो पंजाब और दिल्ली जाता था जी ज्यादातर माल। Apple cultivation became widespread in Himachal after 1950. The government established storage facilities, road networks and agro processing units. It set up wholesale agricultural markets in the smallest of towns. Such an infrastructure benefited not just apple growers, but anyone growing any kind of fruit or vegetable. Farmers could do round-the-year mixed cropping. Thus, directly and indirectly, apples raised incomes and changed the very face of Himachal Pradesh. The effect of the apple economy extended beyond the mountains, into the plains and even outside India. There were jobs for packers, wholesalers and transporters. Substantial labour came in from the neighbouring country of Nepal. First of all, we came to Apple, like we came to Apple. We came to Apple and came to Apple. We came to Apple and came to Apple. We came to Apple and came to Apple. So, as I came to Apple, I took my children and took my children. But then something happened over a 20-year period. Climate gradually became warmer, affecting the entire Kullu Valley. Farmers had to either move up to newer areas suitable for apples or give up growing apples altogether. The apple growing belt here that started at about 1,100 meters from Bajora and extended 80 kilometers all the way to Manali at 1,926 meters shifted 50 kilometers upwards still. Now it starts from Sebag at 1,250 meters and extends beyond Manali to Lahore at 3,000 meters. This <laughs> area लेकिन आज ऐसा समय आ गया कि आज एक भी गाड़ी यहाँ से सेब की नहीं निकलती है तो सेब के लिए जरूरी है जी बर्फ का गिरना बर्फ जो है कम से कम छः इंच बर्फ पड़े बगीचे के ऊपर तो जिस साल बर्फ पड़ेगी उस साल फसल भी अच्छी होती है बीस साल पहले यहाँ पे इस गांव में छः छः इंच बर्फ देखी है जी तो बीस साल के बाद किसी साल कहीं इंच दो इंच आ गई तो कुदरती वो लेदा जी लेकिन बिल्कुल ही क्लियर हो गया कि भाई बर्फ वगैरह यहाँ पर पड़ी नहीं रही है जी तो इससे भी कई चीजों पर बड़ा प्रभाव पड़ रहा है। Some of the farmers here tried to adapt. Peaches, plums, tomatoes and cauliflowers have replaced apples. It has been a painful transition. But the temperatures are still rising. Scientists can see that this change in temperature will affect temperate vegetable crops in a few years. 
what then? Scientists from the Indian Agricultural Research Institute's regional station at Kullu Valley are worried. Their findings reflect an alarming trend. Maximum temperature I have seen here, it goes up to 34 degrees centigrade. And minimum is minus 2, minus 3. But certainly if the congenial atmosphere is not there, Poland will lose its viability. So we have seen in certain years crop failure also. So we were thinking reasons for one or the other thing. Maybe the fact that uh, some micronutrients deficiency are there. Next year we found that crop is normal and we have correlated these things with the temperature. So we found that uh, when we lost the crop, the temperature rise was about 3 to 5 degrees centigrade in that particular month. So naturally, temperature is changing and shift is towards warming as it is apparent there's a global warming. We may not be able to see it, but it has its impact. Our seed production goes down, so our flora goes down, our insect pests, their hibernation period is completed early and they try to attack the crops. The upward shift of apples from Kullu Valley has brought areas like Burnot, and forgel under cultivation. These are areas that were once too cold to raise apples. Alpine forests have been cleared here over the past 20 years to grow the fruit. Contrary to popular belief, these alpine forests of Kullu are not natural forests and were in fact a replacement of forest of mixed, multi-storied and broad-leaved variety of trees that existed here at an even earlier time. The increasing temperatures may have enabled the completion of a circle. The apple and plum trees do a better job at binding the soil and check soil erosion than the coniferous trees that they are replacing. And they are both equally good at carbon sequestration, so important for helping address climate change. At the same time, they help the farmers. <laughs> अब तो जगह जगह लगे बेचने बम्बे कलकत्ता पंजाब लगे बेचने पहले तो पैसे का यहां पर कोई साधन नहीं था नौकरी लोग पेशा भी बहुत कम थे लोग अब से बाने से ऐसा होगा कि काफी ज्यादा इनकम हो गई लोगों की Places like Bernot which until 20 years ago were among the poorest in Himachal with farmers managing a single crop in a year at best have become one of the wealthiest with farmers producing some of the best apples in the whole of India climate change seems to have been a positive opportunity for people here. While the upward shift of the apple belt is good news for farmers like Bish and Thakur, the unanswered fear lurks. How long will it last? Will Bish and Thakur also have to make a painful transition to vegetables in 20 years from now, if his village gets too warm for growing apples? More importantly, where will this upward shift go once the alpine zone has been cleared to the very tips of the mountains? Back in Hurla village, it is the missing apples that are on Krishna Mahant's mind. पहले सेब था लग गया फल भी लग गए लेकिन बाद में धीरे-धीरे मौसम की वजह से वो खत्म हो गए आज देखने को नहीं है पेड़ भी